in telling jokes. <laughs> Super <laughs> No, Nah, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Um, your next comic. Push your hands together, Miss Ava Hahn, everybody. figuring out how to use this mic is another one. So let's just put it out there that it is hot as balls out here, right? It's a little warm. Maybe that's why nobody's laughing. It'd help if you guys would drink more. Maybe? Okay. So since last week, I've been thinking about some stuff, and I wrote them down, and I wanted to share them with you. Is that all right? I titled it Rules to Live By. The first one's about fashion. This rule is just because you see something in a plus-size store does not mean that it belongs on a plus-size body. For example, the miniskirt. If your miniskirt is three times as wide as it is long, you need to hang it back. <laughs> because all you're going to do is start a forest fire with the rubbing. Thighs be burning can't do it. Also, if you wear anything bigger than a size B cup, please don't wear a halter top. You're going to put somebody's eye out. And where's the fun in that? There's no fun in that. So then I kept thinking, my next one is, okay, so we all have that time when we see somebody and we think, I wonder if they're pregnant. Yeah. Should I ask him? Okay, the answer to this question is always no. I don't care if you're in the birthing center and somebody said, ooh, it's crowning. No, don't ask. And then on the flip side of that, don't act like when somebody comes up with a brand new baby, don't ever say, oh, honey, I didn't know you were pregnant. Now you've just called them fat. <laughs> I didn't know she was pregnant. She's chunky like that all the time. Could have happened any time. Rules to live by, bathroom etiquette. Now this goes more for the women than the men. If you are in a bathroom and the person in the stall next to you seems to have a crinkling sound coming out of their stall, it's not candy. Don't ask them to share. I kid you not, I was in high school one time. Just one time. I was in high school. And it was that glorious time where a girl becomes a woman. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And when you're in high school, you don't want anybody to know that it's that time of the month. Now I don't care. I will throw a 2,500 pack super plus cam packs up with the picture showing and not even be embarrassed. But when I was in high school, I was embarrassed. So I'd always try to be secretive. So I was like trying to open. And I kid you not, my friend goes, Eva. Have you got candy in there? If you have got candy in there and you aren't sharing, I'll be pissed off. And I'm like, oh, shit. What are you doing? It's not candy. I'm on my period. There's other people in the bathroom. I was mortified. Bathroom etiquette, folks. It's important. Okay, so let's talk about the next rule of life. If you are a skinny person, you can't do a fat joke. You just can't pull it off, so don't try. Me and my sister are both chunky people, and so we'll make fun of each other all the time. We'll call each other tubby and biggin and fat ass, and we'll laugh and laugh and laugh. Well, one time we were having this little fun time together, and our skinny, beautiful roommate named Jenny, <laughs> she's a dancer, so you can imagine, she's like real beautiful, real skinny. She comes up and we're laughing, calling each other tubby, and she goes, yeah, biggins, let's go. <laughs> it got awkward real quick. And my sister and I went from looking at each other to looking at Jenny going, okay, Jenny, you can't do that. Now, we're not going to kill you because you're our friend, but if you do that to a stranger, honey, you might not survive to brag about it. So skinny folks, remember, fat joke's not for you. You can't pull them off. This last thing, that I really, I really am feeling some kind of way about this one. This is my rule of life about being a vegetarian. 
First of all, keep that crap to yourself because don't nobody care. There's always that person at the party that's got the tattoo across his chest that says, Vegan power, and I never eat meat, no dairy, and blah, 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 blah. I kid you not, I was at a party at NC State one time. We were at this little sorority house, and this girl comes up to me, and somebody had made an apple pie. Now, I don't know what goes in an apple pie. Apple and pie. That's what's in it. She comes up to me and she goes, oh, I don't know. Do you think there's like any kind of eggs or anything in that pie? And I said, sugar, I don't know. But I tell you what, if there is, when you get to them, won't you just pick them out? <laughs> See what I did there? All right, that's my time, y'all. Thank you for laughing. Keep going, everybody. Keep it going. I always get shit like, Mel, you're so skinny. Why are you so skinny? Because I'm hungry, motherfucker. You can't get my stomach growling? <laughs> Simple. You know, I'm poor and I can't eat. I like to say I'm ribbed for her pleasure. If you know what I'm talking about. Hey, what happened? What? Asian shit. Alright, the next comment. <laughs>